Hello friends, Amy Love here and I'm coming on today to share with you my design team package from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy and I'm so excited to share it with you. I finally got my hands on it. Um, for some reason it takes so long uh, to get packages in Maine from my friend Kim in Canada. I'm telling you I should just start driving to her house and picking it up myself. <laughs> I'm considering it. So excuse me, I've got my morning coffee and I thought I would drink my coffee and share with you this beautiful package. But before I open it, we just admire the packaging. It's so gorgeous. And I wanted to let you all know that um, Angel Dream Crafts is having a guest design team call. So she's looking for guest, um, guest designers for next year. And we're really excited about it. So I will have all the information uh, down below if you are interested in applying to be a guest designer you'll just email all your information to Kim's email and um, I'm excited for you so if you make YouTube videos and you like to play with lace you might want to consider applying for um, a guest spot on the team next year all right so let's <coughs> get into this package this I am in love with this like we've had this in pink but I've never had it in this color and it is kind of a creamy but I'm hoping I can kind of use it um, for snow like a background of snow we'll see how that goes and then there's this beautiful piece of bling right here isn't that gorgeous mm. of course it's not gonna focus on that I don't know why I even try <laughs> I should just leave it back here. Isn't it pretty? Look at all the pearls and the rhinestones. Just gorgeous and it's such a big piece. I love that, Kim, thank you. <coughs> Please excuse me. I am still um, dealing with this cold. It's kind of ridiculous. And then she's got some flowers tucked in here. Look at these pretty flowers with these stamens. Just so cute, so very cute. And then she's got it all tied together with this beautiful ribbon. And it has this awesome texture on the side. And then on the back, it's like, it's almost velvety. So it's a kind of really cool texture on both sides of this ribbon. Love it. All right, let's get that over here. This is just gorgeous, you guys. So I've been hoarding the pink and I really just cut off little snippets of it to tuck in some sparkle here and there. And I'm probably going to do the same because I don't want to be without it. <laughs> I would be sad. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. It's so yummy. I love my design team packages so much. Thank you, Kim. Just flinging stuff everywhere. There we go. All right, I think I will scooch it over and we'll pull things out one at a time. And now this, I'm so happy, I'm so happy to have this. I love this. So if you've watched my videos over the past couple months, you've seen me just use this like crazy. It's my favorite thing because it's got so many great snippety snips. So you can snip these hearts out and use it as a heart applique. And then here is a little flower you can snip out. And this, I have been snipping this part off and just tucking it behind flowers and images and all kinds of things. I love it. Absolutely one of my go-tos right now. And I think she has it in two colors right now, which is also very, very cool. Love, Kim, thank you so much. That is, that's my go-to lace currently, my go-to snippety snip. And oh, look at this pretty, pretty soft pink. So cute, another great snippety lace. I'm telling, right now, <laughs> I feel like I'm just snippety snipping the laces, except for maybe a, like a gathered um, ruffle lace. But other than that, I am looking at lace and thinking about all the ways I am gonna cut that up. So that is very cute. Look at how cute that is. All right, let's get that. So pretty. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. Oh, look at this one. 
That is going to be perfect on some Christmas projects, right? Because you've got the leaves and the berries. So you could just cut that off right there. So cute. That is the kind of lace you just want to tuck behind everything and have pieces of it sticking out. So cute. Love. So I don't know if when you watch me go through the DT packages, if you're running ideas through your head as you see the things, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Thinking about all the different projects and ways I want to use the goodies. And then, oh, this is so beautiful and dainty. Oh, I love this trim. Do I have it right side? Yeah, that's right. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I love that, Kim. That is so, so pretty and so wide and nice and soft. I like it when they're nice and soft because then they lay much better. Um, when you're like <clears throat> having them come off a project, they just lay so nice when they're soft like that. Beautiful. All right, let's see what else we've got. Some appliques very cute and they're they look so they're kind of they look Christmassy to me but that's just because I am in Christmas mode y'all <laughs> I, I am in crafty Christmas mode so I feel like maybe everything I see uh, looks Christmas Christmassy to me but I am loving that so cute very very cute and then mm, I was so excited to get these in my hands. Look at these leaves. Uh, leaf, leaf trims are, are something I love to use. And when I saw these come in the shop, I was so excited because these are beautiful for fall and they're going to be beautiful for Christmas projects. Because look at that, that shimmer on there. It's just gorgeous and in a yard you get so many leaves oh, incredible trim right there love and I don't think I've ever had uh, that particular trim before and it's gorgeous and I can't wait to play with it all right oh yeah I was excited to get this one too because it's like pink and gold and that feels like what Christmas is looking like in my creating this year is a lot of pink and gold so these are perfect and an, yet another great snippety snip trim oh I love that so much Kim that is beautiful love you know it's so fun um, I mean I've been on YouTube for 12 years and it, it's really fun when you get laces that you've never had before because I feel like it, that's getting hard to do <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I always it's such a treat when I get a lace I haven't had before and then here is this lace that I love so I keep asking for it I mean there's just so many things you can do with this and I love the color and I love how soft it is and I love those scallops at the bottom this is just a really beautiful beautiful lace And here, oh yes, I forgot. I got both colors. I'm very excited. So this, my go-to trim right now, here is the other color that she got in. And thank you, Kim, because I'm telling you, look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? And just all the ways that I'm gonna cut that up, that is gonna go a long way. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to have both colors. Thank you, friend. Love, 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 love. All right, let's see. Oh, thank goodness, y'all. This. <laughs> so as far as I know, there is, she got some more for the store, but this goes, comes and goes so quickly. Um, so if you are wanting to have some for your uh, Valentine's crafting, I mean, because honestly, it's just not that far away. We're in November and it's not gonna be long before I am working on Valentine's crafts so you might want to go ahead and get some because it goes so fast so I know she got some more in hopefully there's still some in now and I know she'll try to get some more but it's like you never know when the supplier is going to be out so when it's something I know I'm going to need uh, soon <coughs> <coughs> I like to run over and go ahead and get that 
so yay thank you for that Kim and honestly I'll put this on anything and it'll probably go on some Christmas projects too because that's just how I do the things and then oh look at this guy that is a beautiful lace too do I have it right nope I think it goes this way y'all that's one of those can't tell so I guess it doesn't matter Look at how pretty that is. Oh, it's so wide, and like that is just like a perfect applique. So there's so many appliques on here, but these are just great bits to snip up individually too. Look at those, all of those. Oh my goodness, that is gonna be a fun trim to play with. Thank you, Kim, I love it. Love it. And if that's a heart, then it would go this way. <laughs> so cute and a little flower this has so much to give oh yes that's gonna be a fun one that is gonna be a fun one okay and now I you know I watch all the other designers get their um, design team packages while I am just pining away after mine <laughs> and I saw everybody get these doilies and I was like you know how long it's been a long time since I made a doily book I'll have to go back on YouTube and look and see but I feel like the last doily book I made was when I swapped with my friend Julie Kay and we did a Christmas doily book but that seems like really long ago so maybe I've done one since then I don't know but I am very much feeling a Christmas doily book so I think I'm gonna start working on one of those and I mean I've done so many videos on doily books and some of my friends have some really great videos on doily books too so I'm not sure if you'd want to see me do like a, a work a page at a time type of situation and put it together but let me know in the comments if you want to see me kind of put mine together and how I work on it I would be happy to do another one of those and now let's get to the bling please oh my gosh there's so much great bling here Kim oh, oh, oh. all right these are fabulous and look at how big they are I mean those are very big those are gonna be beautiful in my Christmas doily book <laughs> absolutely gorgeous and I love them because they're heavy they're not cheap and they have their metal on the back and so they're nice they're nice sturdy pieces and because it has the holes in there you can sew these on not I know everybody doesn't want to do that but that's what I like about these. I can sew these on so I know that they'll be extra secure. Very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you can't see them if I put them over there. How about we do, how about we do that? All right, and then, oh, yes. So these are like little baubles with rhinestone uh, collar at the top. Look at these charms. Perfect for Christmas. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So much fun. So much fun. Oh, and oh, I was excited to get these too because, well, pink roses. Why wouldn't I be? But I love how these have um, the hole at each side hole y'all I'm sick and tired just bear with me <laughs> so that you can you can sew these down on both sides somewhere I love it I just love them they are so cute and it, look at how detailed that rose is I mean that is kind of incredible absolutely beautiful I love those so much so pretty so this looks a little blurry down here, but it is what it is. All right, and then I had uh, two of the, oh, there's another one of these hiding in there. Cute. And then I got two of these with the uh, drop pearl. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And you know, I got a lot of, um, neutrals here because I have really been loving the neutrals so I am maybe thinking that my doily book is going to be a lot of neutrals with maybe just little peaks of pink I don't know that's what I'm feeling right now 
So let's see what else I got in this little tiny, little tiny bag. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, come on out. Come on out and play. These. Oh, the pink, like, floating heart charms. Oh, they're so, so cute. And she, um, I've had them in the white, uh, not white, but clear rhinestone, too. So I don't know if she has any of those in the shop right now, but these are the pink ones. And they are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love. And then, um, <laughs> all right, Christmas crafting would not be Christmas crafting without these rhinestone snowflakes, which I've already, I already had some that I saved from last year that I used on my snow globe. If y'all saw my snow globe. But aren't they fabulous? They are absolutely fabulous and they are great for Christmas, but also for winter crafts. If you're gonna do any winter crafting, just love these so much. Love, love, love. Oh, yes, to the sparkly snowflakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what we got here like some ribbon roses because I was getting low so thank you Kim for these aren't they pretty her ribbon roses are just so pretty and I love to put them on projects I also love to just put a use them as charms I could just put a bulb pin in the leaf loop and dangle it off of things mm, I love these so much thank you Kim and the other thing that I was short on with bows well because i put bows on every single thing <laughs> i put bows on everything so i go through them quite quickly so i got two colors and this is got to be one of my favorite colors this like it's a dusty rose oh, so cute i want to put it on all the things and then i got the like tan because i love it it's like shimmery and so cute. Look at that bow. Isn't it sweet? It's almost like a champagne, but a little bit darker. I love, love my bows. So this is my kit for November and December. I am excited. I can't wait to start playing. And Kim, thank you. Really gorgeous things um, to play with. It's amazing. And don't forget to reach out to her if you are interested in a guest design team spot next year. And I hope you're all doing well, and um, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.